Hi everyone, it's Carlita from Central Coast Council. I was just thinking about the country we live in, Australia. Australia is a very hot and dry place and in many parts we don't get a lot of rain. When it doesn't rain for a long time, this is called a drought. And sometimes a drought can last for months or even years. That's a long time without rain, isn't it? And rain is so important. We need it for our plants to grow and for land animals to drink. So it'd be quite scary to not have a lot of rain for a while, especially if you had a farm with a lot of animals or you were growing crops or plants that needed a lot of water. Maybe where you live, there hasn't been a lot of rain for a while, or maybe you know someone that's gone through a drought. Well, some of my friends, Birdie and Mr. Frog, they experienced a drought, and I think they'd really love to share their story with you today. Maybe we could wish them here. Can you help me at home? How about we count to three and wish for Birdie and Mr. Frog? Okay, ready? One, two, three. I wish for Birdie and Mr. Frog. Oh, Birdie and Mr. Frog, you're here. It is so good to see you because I've been talking to the kids at home about how you both experienced a drought. That's right. Maybe we could share your story to the kids at home and we can learn more. Sounds like a good idea. Let's begin our story. Birdie and the Drought by Andrea Baldwin and Anil Tortop. This is Birdie. Here you are, Birdie. Birdie is a happy bird who likes to sing. She lives in a nest in a tall tree. Birdie feels cosy and safe in her nest. Birdie likes to catch worms and talk with her friend, Mr. Frog. Here you are, Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog lives in a pond with green lily pads. It looks beautiful there. One summer, there was no rain for a long, long time. Mr. Frog's pond began to dry up. The lily pads wilted. I need to go and find another pond to live in, said Mr. Frog. I will come back when it rains again and my pond is full and the lilies bloom. Birdie felt sad because her friend had gone away. Day after day, it did not rain. There were no worms for Birdie to eat because the ground was too dry and hard. Birdie felt hungry and she felt lonely too. I need to find somewhere else to live, said Birdie. I will come back when it rains again and the ground is soft and there are lots of worms. Birdie traveled for a long time. Birdie came to a water hole. The ground was nice and soft. Some other birds helped Birdie find worms to eat. But Birdie still felt sad. She missed her tree. She missed her nest. She missed her friend, Mr. Frog. One day, Birdie was standing by the water when she saw a face she knew. Mr. Frog, Birdie cried out. Birdie, shouted Mr. Frog. They were so excited to see each other again. One day, Birdie will go back to her nest and Mr. Frog will go back to his pond. But for now, they are happy at the waterhole with all their new friends. Wow, Birdie and Mr. Frog. That must have been really hard to go through a drought and to experience no rain for such a long time. How did that make you feel? Oh, Birdie said she felt really sad because she couldn't find any water or any food. And she felt lonely too because Mr. Frog had gone away. But then what happened when you found your new place at the watering hole? Oh, they said they felt happy and safe again because they had met new friends that welcomed them to their new place. That's really good to hear. But thinking about rain and the drought makes me really think about how important water is. 
it's a bit scary to think what would happen if we didn't have any water. We use water every day of our lives for drinking, for showering, flushing the toilets, washing our hands. So maybe even if you're not going through a drought, maybe we can think of simple things that we can do each day that helps save water and just helps our water last a little bit longer. What do you think, Bertie? That's a good idea. Maybe we could turn off the tap when we brush our teeth. That's a good one. We could try taking shorter showers or smaller baths. Yeah, and we could also reuse some of our bath water or shower water for maybe helping mum and dad wash the car or even watering some of the plants that you don't eat. So these are all some simple things that we could do. Well, Bertie, Mr. Frog, I'm so glad you joined us here today. It was really, really nice to share that story and to know that you're happy and safe again. Kids at home, we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.